Hi everyone, welcome to Pearl's Kitchen. If you like my video, give it a thumbs up. Press the red button to subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so you'll be notified for my upcoming video. It's all free. Thank you. Take the power to control your life as no one else can do it for you. So let us ask God to give us strength to do so. Amen. Today I'm going to show you how to make moong dal kachoris. Now these kachoris you'll find in India, wherever you find samosas being sold, you'll find kachoris. So here are the ingredients. In this frying pan, I've got three tablespoons of oil and we'll need moong dal. I've got half a cup of moong dal, which I washed and soaked overnight, or you can soak it three to four hours before making this. And here, the masalas, I've got quarter teaspoon of turmeric, quarter teaspoon of um, jeera powder, that's cumin powder, and I've got half a teaspoon of fennel powder, that's soft powder. If you don't find fennel powder, you just coarsely grind the seeds, the fennel seeds. I've got half a teaspoon of cumin seeds, that's jeera seed, and I've got half a teaspoon of dhania powder, that's coriander powder, and I've got a pinch of asafoetida, that's hing, and in here I've got a quarter cup of a basin, that's gram flour. I've got an inch of ginger that I've grated. I've got one green chili that I've finely chopped. And here I've got quarter teaspoon of garam masala. And I've got a pinch of soda bicarb. I've got half a teaspoon of salt. I've got three quarter teaspoon of red chili, but chili is to your taste. If you want it hotter, it make it one teaspoon. And I've got half a teaspoon of mango powder, that's amchur. And that's for the mixture. And now for the dough, in here I've got one and a half cup of plain flour, that's maida. And I've got a quarter cup of ghee or butter or oil, whatever you want to use. I've got a pinch of soda bicarb. I've got half a teaspoon of carom seed, that's ajwain. And I've got half a teaspoon of salt. And we'll need a mixie and we'll need oil for deep frying for later. Okay, so first thing we need to do is make the dough because this needs to rest for at least half an hour, 20 minutes to half an hour. So that's the plain flour and that's the carom seed I've got in my hand. You just take your thumb and just squash it with your thumb. So you're breaking it, it's already like in grain form, but you may need to crush it a little bit more. And that's it. Sprinkle that on the flour and then you take the soda by car and the salt and then you take the ghee and you pour it all in and now you start mixing this mix this for a minute okay once you've mixed the ghee it should start looking like breadcrumbs like crumble mix and now you take water and now you're going to start binding it together. Put a little water at a time to make a soft dough. Once you've formed it into a dough, then you've got to knead it, start kneading it for at least three to four minutes. Don't need a lot of water in there. And once it's bound, now you just start kneading it. Okay, I've been kneading this for the last three minutes. So that's done. You can see I've used half a, a quarter mug of water and that's it. Now you need to just either put a damp cloth on it or cover it with a bowl and let it rest aside for at least 20 minutes to half an hour. Okay, the next step is we need to grind the moong dal. You can see I've used a sieve to drain the water and I've put it in here. Now all you need to do is grind this into a coarse paste, not a very smooth paste. Okay, that's our dal into a coarse paste. So now I'm going to just empty it out into a bowl. 
and then keep that aside. Okay, now we're going to make the moong dal mixture. As soon as this three tablespoons of oil in the frying pan is hot, you put the cumin seed, make sure the gas is on medium. You put the cumin seed and you put the hing, the asafoetida. I'm going to put the gas lower. Now you put the fennel powder, haldi, jeera powder and the dhania. And just gently fry it for a minute. Okay, now after a minute you put the green chilies and the ginger and let that also fry just for a few seconds. Make sure the gas is low and now you put the basin, the gram flour. And I let this fry in the oil till you get a nice aroma from it. This should take at least two to three minutes. Okay, there's a nice aroma coming from the fried gram flour, the basin. Make sure the gas is on medium. And now we're going to add the moong dal. The moong dal mixture. And mix all this in it and then we're going to add the rest of the masalas. This will start to stick a bit but don't worry, keep stirring it. And then you add the garam masala, the mango powder, the chili, the soda bakov and the salt. All in here. Okay, now you need to keep stirring this all the time and this has to fry for another three to four minutes. Okay, see, I've been pressing it and stirring it around so it gets an even fry and roasted all around. This does take time, it's a bit fiddly. So this took at least four minutes and you can see the rawness of the dal is gone, the dal, moong dal. And now you're going to put the gas off and now let this rest till it cools down. Okay, that's the moong dal mixture. I've taken it out of the frying pan so it cools quicker. So while that's still cooling, you just give this dough another quick kneading for a few seconds. And this dough should be on the softer side, not on the hard side. That's perfect, see? Just like we make chapati atta. So now while that's Resting there for another few minutes. We're going to make these into form these into bowls. That's how it should be able to. It's like a teaspoon size. So they'll go inside the kachori. So try and just make these into small bowls and keep it aside. Just roughly, you don't have to make perfect bowls. You can see they're all made into like walnut size, depends on what size kachori you want. And now you keep this aside and we'll start filling them into the kachori. Okay, then you take the the dough and make them into a like roll it into a log and then cut equal size, a little bit bigger than the uh, the moong dal mixture. Now you form them into a round bowl as well. Do the same to all of them. Okay, once that's these you formed into smooth bowls, don't don't worry about these being extra because this has got amchur in it that stays for days and weeks. So you can make another batch that you use up as much as you can. So now first thing what we're going to do is take one of the bowls and the loi. And now you start forming it into like a bowl. And make sure the middle bit and the bottom bit is on the thicker side. Just like you're making potato cutlets, like I showed you how to make potato cutlets. So once it, it's fiddly in the beginning, but once you get making it, it's going to be very quick. So once you 
form it into a bowl then you put one of the the moong dal mixture in it and then You cover it with it and then you close it and if any extra you take out if not extra just press it back and now you need to form them into a patty you don't need to bailo them you just have to pat them with your fingers so the mixture of the dal goes around everywhere gently you can feel the dal inside so it's not coming out but it's spreading evenly and that's the sh shape and that's the size you need and and you keep it there that's your first kachori done same way now you start again make it into a bowl and carry on doing it the same way. Okay, then I'm showing you another one, last one. The rest I'm going to put in an airtight container and put in the fridge till I make my next kachoris. Okay, make this into a bowl. Put this in the middle. bind it together and then start patting and then with your finger fingers just start squashing it down so it gets a even a mixture of the stuffing everywhere Press the sides and there's your last kachori done. So now once you've done it all then we're going to fry it. Okay once all the kachoris are made like mine is now we're going to put the oil up to get warm. Make sure the oil is only lukewarm. Tepid oil we need not hot oil so make sure your gas is on lowest and then you take a little piece of dough and if you put it in, if it comes up straight away, floats on top, that means the oil is too hot. Okay, so that's not floating, so that's good. That's the amount of heat we need in the oil. So now, you're going to start putting the kachoris in. Don't worry, it's not cold oil. It's lukewarm oil. And now you don't touch this, now you don't touch the kachoris at all for at least four minutes. Okay, you can see, now as soon as the kachoris get into the warm, lukewarm oil and the oil gets into the right temperature, you can see all the bubbles start to form. And that's a good sign. So now let this, don't touch this at least for another three minutes. One minute's already over, for another three minutes, leave it as it is. You can see after around three to four minutes it starts to bubble nicely and yet it's still cooking on a very gentle heat. So now is the time we start turning them. Turn all of them and then we're going to raise the heat from low to medium and then let it fry till they're nice and golden. So I'm going to raise the heat up a little bit. And that's it. Now let it fry till they're golden. Okay, our kachoris are done. Now when you see they're nice and golden, you start to take them out. I mean this in total, it's a long process. It takes at least around 15 minutes to fry. So you've got to have patience. And you can keep turning them around from time to time. And now you just drain them on the paper towel. Put the gas off. And remember when you put the second batch, if you're making more than this, make sure the oil goes down to lukewarm again. And 
And now let this drain onto the paper towel. Okay, that's our moong dal kachoris ready. That's how it should look like, nice and golden. I'll show you what it looks like from inside. You can either break it or cut it. And you can see all the lovely stuffing inside. It really is so delicious. Okay, if you're having these kachoris as a snack like people eat at the samosa shop, then you only need a chutney to go with it. Either red chutney or green chutney. But if you're having it as a main meal, then uh, make this potato sabji. It really goes well with this. And I've already made this potato sabji in my previous video. And I'll put the link of it in the description box. So I hope you enjoy it just as much as we do. And I shall see you next time with some more delicious cooking. But until then, may God go with you and give you his peace.